Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing three different wreath bases, all with burlap, using three different techniques. This first one is the chain method, where you just measure out 10 inches and put your pipe cleaner, and then another 10 inches and put your pipe cleaner. Today we're gonna do it a little different. Usually with deco mesh, I will do 21 pipe cleaners and go around the wreath frame three times. But with this burlap, it's a lot thinner and doesn't stand up as much. So I did 28 pipe cleaners and went around it four times. So I actually did at the crossbar on all four rings. So that gives it a little more fullness. Finishing off the last ring here. And then this method doesn't require a whole lot of fluffing. But you do want to just kind of pull anything out that might be folded over on itself. This one measured about 20 inches across, so it's, it's a pretty small little wreath. The next method is the pull-through method. You'll put your pipe cleaner kind of facing up because you're going to put it on the bottom of the wreath frame. And then you're just going to pull it through on all three little sections there, or all three little rings. And in this particular one, I did all three rings, but then I did three sets in each section. So three sets of three. Some people will twist it when they pull it through. I don't typically twist it. I might twist it a little when I go back to the inner ring, but when I'm coming through the middle and the outer ring, I don't typically twist it. Maybe sometimes I do if it feels like it's not really catching well or it's not going to stay. Coming up, you'll see something that's very strange. Never happened when I've used a Dollar Tree wreath frame, but there's no crossbar there. And then I thought, am I seeing this right? Or is it just the sections bigger? But indeed, the crossbar is missing. But with this particular method, it didn't make a difference because you just keep going all the way through. The chain method, it would make a difference because you usually are attaching at the crossbars, but there was no crossbar. So you just finish this up, cut it off, and then you're going to use another pipe cleaner and attach it to the back. That's why I like this method is it's very clean on the back. You just use a couple of pipe cleaners to attach it to the frame. This method does require a lot more fluffing because when I do it, they just end up folding over, so I have to go through almost every one and unfold it. The next method we're going to do is my least favorite. It's where you just kind of pull it up halfway and you're just gathering it around the ring. Now here, I did it on the innermost ring and that is wrong. You have to do it on the two middle rings. That way it holds itself together. If you do it on the inner ring or even the outer ring, then there's nothing holding it up straight to keep it all ruffled and together. Y'all know from other videos that I'm all about showing the mistakes because mistakes happen for all of us. And I'll typically just pull it through and then squish it into one hand as much as I can gather in there and that's when I consider it done. When I'm finishing up here, you just do the same thing. You're going to add a pipe cleaner and attach it. But then I go back and add a little bit of hot glue in a few places, especially at the crossbars where it comes up because it doesn't like to come up perfectly because the crossbar is in the way. So once I get it all kind of a few tacks in there with the hot glue, I'll go back and push the extra material down. So guys, that's it. Here are the three bases. I will make another video where I complete them and I will catch you on the next one.